Hi guys, this is Jimmy from KS Group and today we're going to take a quick look at one of the new tools that we have in VRA 2.0. So if we go to the VRA folder in the start menu, you'll see that in the tools menu we have a new tool called Lens Analysis Tool. I'm going to start with it. The Lens Analysis Tool actually allows you uh, to create distortion profiles based on your real-world camera so that you can actually match your real-world camera with the V-Ray physical camera. And the workflow is pretty straightforward and it is described step by step in our help file, but I just want to give you an outline how you will work with this tool. So the first thing you're going to need to do is actually print a test chart. And to do this, you'll go to the ana analysis menu here and select the print test chart you will be given an option to select the aspect ratio of your camera and you will save a file and print it. The thing that you will print will look something like this. It's going to be just a simple grid and you'll have to attach this grid somewhere and take a several uh, shoot photos of it. Again, the procedure is described along with best practices in our website on the help files so that uh, you'll be given advice how to do this correctly. When you do this, you should create images that will look something like this, several photos of this grid. And the next step will be to go back uh, to the lens analysis tool and cl then click on this button which says add photos. I'll select all those images and click open. Now V-Ray will, uh, the, lens, the lens analysis tool will use these images to actually create your distortion pattern and to do this you have to click the analyze button. The tool will take several seconds to analyze the images and then you'll click OK. Now what I need to do is first consolidate the profile and uh, I can actually save it now. So I'm going to save my profile. Now what I can do from here is I have two options. First of all I can go in max and uh, now I'm rendering with the very physical camera, so I can see the settings of the physical camera here. And you see that we have several distortion types. I'm just going to use the quadratic distortion first and render out an image. So that you can see we have no distortion at all. And now I'm going to switch to lens file and select the lens file that I just generated. And to render again. Now you can immediately see the distortion that we created and it's the actual distortion of our real world camera. So uh, this is pretty useful for camera matching and for those of you who need to match their cameras regularly. Another thing that I can do is I can use the tool again and uh, correct or distort some images. So I'll just add the, f the images that I want to apply the distortion or the inverse of the distortion in this list. I'll specify an output directory and I'll select whether I want to distort the images with the information in the lens file or if I want to apply the inverse distortion or undistort the images. And I'll click process. So as you can see, this tool is pretty useful for those of you who are going to deal with a lot of camera matching and it will really make your life easier and um, make it easy for you to create uh, and to render images with this correct distortion with the distortion of your real world cameras. Uh, this concludes this presentation. I'm Dimitar Krestev Jimmy and I thank you for watching.